<laughs> Literally like the poster of the Jaws movie. Dun, 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 dun. Shh. Gone. Now you see me, now you don't. The combination of fear and intrigue has persisted since man's first encounter with the shark. And it was Jaws that proliferated the universal dread of the great white killer. The great white's a mysterious animal in that it's very difficult to study it. It lives in an environment that for us is a foreign environment, and also, you know, any animal that can consume a human if it wants to has got something that um, very few other animals on Earth have got. The Amity Island anxiety is a widespread condition here. In Durban, the Sharks Board maintains 25 miles of nets along the coast daily, protecting bathers and tourists, and significantly decreasing the incidents near shore. On the west coast off Cape Town, shark spotters survey the main beaches. Sirens and a flag system keep the public informed of imminent or potential dangers. The system is successful. Nonetheless, there have been two fatalities this year. There is no doubt about the animal's large population here. Seal Island, just six miles off the coast, is among the most shark-filled waters in the world. South Africa is where the Indian and Atlantic Ocean currents meet, creating an ideal feeding ground for sharks. In the mixture of water temperatures, a multitude of species interact. The approach to Seal Island offers a sense that the food chain is very active, but out of sight. However, these conditions allow for a chance encounter with a shark leaving its world and entering ours. See a, a one-ton shark take to the air is something that leaves you in no doubt about the athletic prowess and certainly shows you what it is capable of and I think re-emphasizes the point that these animals really want to eat human beings. We would be very, very easy prey for them. I've never put on my wetsuit excited about sharks before. You get used to it. Lean forward, grab the pole, and then guide yourself. The in. white shark controls go. populations of things such as seals. God. Even other species of sharks are preyed upon by the white shark. So as an apex predator, it kind of is the top of the trophic level. And as such, everything underneath it has a, got a di di direct correlation to exactly what the white shark does. And there we've got a nice big great white shark. It's come right up now. Beautiful, huh? Coming up, go down, go down. It took very little time for eight great white sharks to investigate our presence. The boat and the cage are stimulation in their environment. But the Cape Fur Seal is a much easier and tastier target. Seal Island is an all-you-can-eat buffet meal. You know, you've got 60,000 choices there, and, but there's certainly a lot of food going around that's available 24-7. Oh, kill! 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 Oh, the chase is kill. It's a 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 kill. Chris Fallows doesn't chum the water to attract the animals. The scent is already there. It's a simple bait and lure that enables him to study the creature he admires from a distance, up close. It never stops astounding me that we don't have shark attacks non-stop. And I think the fact that we have so few attacks shows just how discriminate the white shark is in terms of what it actually attacks and what it eats. <laughs> It just goes to show that humans and sharks certainly can coexist and you know in a country where we have up to 20,000 murders a year, I think we have a lot more to fear from our own kind than we do from the sharks. <laughs>